What a way to end the month of September. Thanks for being with us for a week seven edition of Friday Night Blitz. I'm Brandon Kinnard. We had upsets, comebacks, season defining wins, and you saw one of those games right here on NBC 26. A special edition of Sports Showdown tonight. It's the Packers versus Cancer game on the Big 2 6. Denmark hosting Luxembourg Casco. First quarter. DJ Van Lannan, nice little counter trap play. Van Lannan right up the gut for the score. It's the game's first touchdown. Puts Denmark up 7-0. Elsie's starting a freshman quarterback, and he can play. This is Braden Loritz, a strike to his fellow Braden. Braden Schley, 40-yard score, ties it up at 7. Does not take long for the Vikings to respond. Nolan Perry on the ensuing kickoff finds the edge, and he is off to the races. That puts the Vikings up 14-7 later in the first half. Well, how about Perry again, this time on offense. Out of the backfield, his second touchdown makes it a two-score game. Denmark led it 28-10 at halftime. Second half, though, LC making them sweat. Watch the uh, pile here. Suddenly, there's a dude in white with the football. That's Ryan Ruthio, who did this exact same thing last year, if I remember right. Just flat out took it away, takes it back for the score to cut the deficit to five, 35-30. Another look at how he took it away. That was as close as it got, though. LC's last minute heave falls short. Denmark hangs on for a 35-30 win. Here's John Miller. Thanks, Brandon. I'm with Denmark Vikings head coach, Tom Newman. Coach, a thrilling game. You withstood the comeback. What'd you see from you guys tonight? It's a lot of resilience. You know, we knew there was gonna be adversity. They're banged up playing backups. We're banged up playing backups. and. It's a rivalry game, so you can throw all that out the window, throw the records out the window, it doesn't matter. They're just going to keep battling until that final whistle, and that's what we did tonight. Nolan Perry, two kick returns for a touchdown, a nice 10-yard rushing touchdown. He, he did it all tonight, Coach. Yeah, he's the best-kept secret in Northeast Wisconsin. The kid is just blazing fast. Uh, he's super strong, and he's just got a resilience to him. You can hit him once, twice, he's, he just doesn't want to go down. Speaking of resiliency, seeing your guys withstand that comeback and hold them off late, what would that mean to see your guys do that? I, I think that gives us a lot of confidence. Uh, some of these guys haven't been through the ringer like that, and to, to withstand a, 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 a big knockout punch from them and come back and get up off the canvas, we just kept pounding the rock. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Good luck next week. Next up for Denmark, they take on Freedom. We'll send it back to you, Brandon. All right, speaking of freedom, this is another big one in the NEC here. It's homecoming at Little Shoots as they host the Freedom Irish, and this was a good one, folks. Drew Joten here in the second quarter. Short touchdown run. That puts the home team up 16-0, so the Mustangs riding that big lead, but here comes Freedom. Touchdown pass to Carson Clausen. Cuts it in half, 16-18. Fourth quarter. How about another one from the quarterback Matthew Weingard keeps and scores and we are all tied up at 16 apiece final minute of the game. Here's that man again Joten breaking tackles and into the end zone for the score. That's the game winner. What a finish. Little shoot remains unbeaten 22 16. Wrightstown also beat FVL tonight so look here at the updated NEC standings. Little shoot on top, 7-0 overall, 5-0 in conference. Always a good week in this conference. A lot of good teams here and more on the way throughout the rest of the season. But LC, little shoot that is, on the fast track to a conference title. In the FRCC, first place on the line in the south here, Menasha hosting Notre Dame. Joe Otronovic starts the scoring. Quarterback keeper puts the Tritons up 7-zip. Simon Bauer Schimmick. On the receiving end of this one, he goes down holding his knee, left and did not return, but he did score that touchdown. Later on, it's A.J. Korth, the senior quarterback. A long run, 14-7, Menasha goes up. They win it 28-21. In the FRCC North, Ashwabadon hosting Bayport. Pirates were rolling late first half here. Blake Bookinger into the end zone to put Bayport up 35-0. Ashwabadon had some highlights in him. Now check this play out. Boone cursed on the roll. He finds his man, Caden Van Dyce. The ball did come out, but he caught it first. Leads to, leads to an Ashwabadon touchdown. Bayport on the very next play, though, answers Cole Benson to Brett Shipley, 48 yards. Thank you very much. Bayport wins it. They improve to 7-0. West appear looking to keep pace with the Pirates. They're at Southwest. Opening drive touchdown for the Phantoms. 
It's their great running back, Najee Mitchell. He walked off injured a few plays before this. Didn't appear to affect him there. Phantoms up 7-0. Defense came to play as well. Mason Meyer under pressure, eventually taken down by Isaac Caster. Southwest gets him back. Miles Roschenbach busting through for a sack of his own, but just a couple of plays later, West DePierre finds the promised land again. Duke Schoval to Ryder LeSage. Puts them up two scores. They go on to win it 35 to 0. Stick with us. We've got more highlights coming up next, including a major upset in the Fox Valley. 